Welcome back everyone. My name is Devin Betty and I hope you are excited to learn Go language. Now the thing is if you want to learn a Go language you have to do some setup on your machine. Basically we require two softwares. The first one is a compiler. The second one is a IDE. Now when you say IDE it stands for Integrated Development Environment. So basically not just for Golang if you are using any language let's say Java Python you have to do that on IDE. It's not that you can't do it on a normal editors it's just that when you work on complex projects there are things beyond writing code which is also debugging and getting the proper output or creating different files so it makes sense to use a good IDE. Now when it comes to Golang there are different IDEs available you can use Eclipse Atom we will be using VS Code for this series. And of course you have a choice, you can use any IDE which you prefer. So we have to install two softwares, the first one is Go Compiler, second one is VS Code. And let's do that in this video. Now how do we install Golang Compiler? It's very easy actually, just go to Google and type download Go. It will take you to the official website of it which is golang.org as a first link. Click on that and this is where you can download Golang. Now you can see for different type of OS we have different setups available here. So it doesn't matter which type of OS you use in your machine, it will work on all the OS. So the thing is, in this video we are going to use Windows, so that's why we will see how to install Golang on Windows. But then I will try to create videos for Mac and Linux as well. Now since we are using Windows, we will be clicking on this link which is download for Windows. Click on that and it will download the setup for you. I already have a setup in my machine so I will cancel this one. So that's the first thing you need. Uh, the second software you need here is VS Code. So if you want to install VS Code, you just have to go to Google and type VS Code download it. It will give you the download uh, link as a first link. And you can see we have multiple options. We can go for Windows, Mac or Linux. Let's focus on Windows here. And based on what OS architecture you're using, 64-bit or 32-bit, you can choose accordingly. So I'm using 64-bit and that's why we have set up here. You can click on this one. The moment you click on this one, it will download VS Code on your machine. And as you can see, I have both the setups available in my machine. It's time to install them. Now, is it difficult? Of course not. It's damn easy to install. So to double click on this tab and it will give you the prompt. Uh, we have to do the most difficult thing here, which is click on next. Uh, and then you have to accept the terms and conditions. You don't have a choice. Uh, click on next. Now look at the path. The path is C drive go folder. So this is where you will install your go compiler. Of course, you can change this path, but let's stick to the basic. Click on next. And it will uh, say install. Yes, I need to install this. It may take some time based on your system speed. Uh, it is asking for the password. So you can see it is getting installed. So that's done. You can see we got an option of finish. That means it is properly installed. And how do we verify this But Of course, we'll install VS Code in some time. But how do you verify the setup? And for that, you have to open your command prompt. Okay, so you have to open your command prompt and here you have to say go. The moment you say go and if it, if it gives you all these steps, that means uh, go is installed. Because if you don't have go installation, it will give you an error by saying go is not a recognized command. Uh, so you're getting this, that means go is installed. You can see we have so many commands available here. We'll see most of them, don't worry. But the thing is go is properly installed. And now it's time to install VS Code. Let's go back here and click on VS Code user setup, uh, click on I accept the agreement, next, next, nothing to specify here, next. Uh, you can say add to path and then you can create the desktop icon, that's your choice. Uh, click on next and then simply click on install, it will get installed in your machine. Okay, that's done, we got the VS Code, click on finish and it will launch the VS Code application. So this is how VS Code looks and if you can just click on new and then you can create a new file now. Uh, click on new file and this is where you can write the go code so what you can do is you can write a go code here so in fact uh, instead of uh, writing by myself what i will do is i will just copy the go code from the official website uh, because we have not learned the syntax of go yet uh, so i will say let's go to golang.org and they have a sample code available on the on the first screen as well i can just copy this code and go back to my vs code paste that's our go code which will print something with some weird st string I'll print uh, hello telisco and then just save this file as telisco.go of course you can name it anything doesn't matter so I'll be storing this on desktop click on save so we got we got a go code here and it is giving you option of installing go extension it will help you to create a new file it will help you to understand the syntax uh, let's install that as well 
And while it is getting installed, let's go back to command prompt and let's run the code. So I will simply go to my desktop. And here, if you say dir, you can see we have a Go file. It's time to compile it, right? So the way you can compile it or run it is go run telesco.go and it will print hello telesco. So that's done. So this is working. So that means our, in, in our machine, we were able to install Go and then we were able to install VS Code and it's running. So maybe in the next video, we'll try to run the code here in VS Code itself. You know, why to go to the command prompt and run. Maybe in the VS Code itself, we'll use that. And we'll see the output here itself. So that's how you install Go and VS Code on your machine. So there's one more important thing. Uh, the place where you have installed Go is in C drive. And here, if you can go to Go, you can see we have a folder called bin. Now, if you go to bin, this is the most important folder. We have two files. One is Go and second is fo uh, Go format. Again, we'll see Go FMT later, but as of now, we are focusing on Go. So you're able to run your code because of this command. Okay, so this is very important. In case if you're getting error while running this code, that means your path is not set. So maybe at that time you have to manually set up the path for the bin in the environment variables. So normally it works. Uh, so let me know if it is working on your machine in the comment section. Someone will help you for sure. Uh, so that's it everyone. That's from this video. I hope you enjoyed it in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.